my name is Robert Pascal, and I'm with the Badger Airbrush Company. And with me is Elizabeth Anthony. And Elizabeth is going to show us nail painting. Uh, Elizabeth, how come you use uh, an airbrush to do nails? Well, airbrushing on the nails gives a lot of advantages over normal nail color that they use, like nail polish, due to the fact that, number one, it dries a lot faster because it's much thinner application. Mm -hmm. That's also a benefit. A much thinner application gives less bulk on the nails. And clients like that on their nails. They don't want to have a lot of thickness. As well as you can design looks that you never could do with paint or a bottle of polish. You can get those color blends that softly change from a soft pink into a deep red. Looks that you could never do uh, by hand on someone's nails. Well, the airbrush has a unique look. Definitely. And well, of course, we're going to show you some designs that you never could accomplish by hand that you, know, you really need a tool like an airbrush to accomplish. Well, why don't you show us? OK, sounds good. Let's start by doing a simple stencil moving design. We're going to put a solid color down on the nail tip and then I'm going to place the stencil and spray a color through, move it down, spray it again, and then we'll do it a third time. Then we'll load with a second color and repeat the design by placing it inside of the first mask. We're going to start by using, I'm using a Badger 100 SG dual action airbrush. And I'm going to drip a couple drops of magenta paint in here. Always start spraying off your work on the side to make sure you have the spray pattern that you want. Then go to the nail and put a nice even coat on the nail. Take your time and build up the color slowly. This is where people tend to make the mistake by over spraying the nail. They tend to spray too much color too fast and get it wet. Ideally, if you're working on a person rather than a tip like I am today, you will spray on one finger, move to the next finger, to the next finger. But when you're practicing, this is the best way to work due to the fact that you can get your designs absolutely right. And then when you go to a paying customer, you'll do it right. OK, touch up any spots that look a little light. If you overspray anywhere, you can push down and blow dry, and then we'll move to our next color. I'm going to load up with white. And since I'm only working on a tip, I'm only going to require about one or two drops of paint. Be sure to always mix your paints very thoroughly so they come out real nice and even. Test your paint on the side. And now I'm going to go and pick up a stencil. I'm going to place the stencil on the nail just at the top, just onto the nail, and kind of curve it with my fingers. I'll start by spraying the paint right at the bottom of the stencil, right here, and build the color up slowly. This, you want to build up slowly. You don't want to shoot so it gets wet and then it'll bleed underneath there. If it gets a little heavy, blow it dry. Make sure everything is dry, including the stencil, before you move it, because if it's wet, it can spatter onto the nail. OK, that's our first pattern. Now line it up. I'm going to place the, first point, the last point on the design right below the first one on here. Again, curve the stencil to the nail. Spray slowly, build up your color. I like to spray darker at the point and let it kind of blow up the nail. Gives it a softer look. There's our second. And now again, I'm going to line it up, putting the first point at the bottom of the third one. Curve the stencil to the nail. And blow in your design. All righty. There's our first pattern. I'm going to blow up the color. And I'm going to load up with my final color, which is going to be black. Again, just a drop or two is needed. We're going to pick up the same stencil. This time, we're going to line it up with the previous, what we just sprayed before and move it up so you fit it just inside there. That way we don't block out what we sprayed the first time. Spray in the black slowly. If it gets wet, just give it a blow dry. 
push down on the trigger without pulling back. Pick up your stencil. There's our first move. Line it up with the second one and then pull it back up again. Blow your color in. A little darker at the tips. Let it fade up. Lift the stencil off. And then our third is just going to be just inside of the very tippy tops of the design at the bottom. And again, just blow a little bit of the black on there. Blow it dry. Okay. When your design is done and everything is dry, go to your fonder or glaze. Remember to lay the brush down. Don't use the bristles and brush across. Lay it down. Put a nice even coat. And then after it's dry, you can put a glaze on to protect it, to give it long durability. And you can add this to a sample board. You can make a number of nail tips so your clients can select what design they want. All right, now we're ready to go on to a stencil picture. <laughs>